Well, the news is music to the ears of Swifties around the world. Taylor Swift announced she is headed on tour. Yes, that bombshell has all of her fans excited because it's Taylor's first tour in nearly five years. Mm. Hey, Taylor, it's us, D.C. Are we the problem? I don't see D.C. on the list of tour mm. stops. Uh, Kevin is in the newsroom yeah. with details. And, Kevin, I heard you talking about this earlier when it dropped. I've been listening to this album nonstop. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's one of my favorite albums of the year right now. And when she announced this, I was absolutely devastated that she's not coming here. I know she's coming to areas that are close by. But that's right. It's the, mo it's the news that most fans obviously have been expecting since Taylor dropped her highly acclaimed Midnight's album, which she just set a record for landing all all 10 spots on the Billboard Hot 100 Top 10 list for the album alone. The tour is being dubbed the Eras of the Eras Tour uh, and is set to kick off in March of 2023 in Arizona with 27 U.S. dates. It's her first tour since her 2018 Reputation Tour. Now, tickets will go on sale November 18th. I was just talking to Haley, one of our producers here, about verified fans and how you can get tickets as well. Uh, but the big question now is why not the DMV? Why not D.C.? Why were we snubbed? And Taylor has no current dates uh, for D.C., Maryland, or Virginia, the closest being Philly. Obviously, there's New York as well. Um, but I, I don't know. For me, I was going to ask you all this. Is there an artist that you would travel somewhere for to see if they weren't coming to D.C.? And Taylor Swift might be one of those for me because I've never seen her live, and I kind of want to see her on this tour. I mean, I'm maroon and uh, lavender haze. I've been listening to this album, like, nonstop. It's amazing. You should go see her, Kevin. I actually saw her the last time five years ago when she was here at FedEx oh. Field. How Not was the show? The show was amazing. The venue was horrible. But getting like out. Getting, I mean, I literally went. It was on a weeknight, and I think I had to come in straight to work because it took like oh, that long man. Yeah, to get out. It was terrible. But she played two nights there. So, Holly, so, for me, I, I, it's, it's interesting. Like, you talk about getting in and out of a venue. Like, that would be a make or break situation for me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all for, like, these large, you know, concerts. I'm, I'm, but I'm kind of more into the intimate, smaller shows. Mm -hmm. And I know that Taylor Swift's not going to play, like, the anthem here no, in D.C. Right, or right, something right. like that. But... I do, that does factor in. Uh, I guess if I was to travel to a different state, maybe I could just Uber there and back. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I do want to see her live, though. This, this, this album's amazing. So, the 3 a.m. edition, of, there's too. There's a lot of artists I would travel yeah. to. Yeah. 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 All right. Thanks, Kev. All right. Thanks, guys.